Okay, here we are with the unboxing video of the 2014 Key Ingredient Recipe Tablet. And here it is, the recipe tablet. We're going to do an unboxing and quick review right now. So let's go ahead and break the seal and open it up. Okay, let's see. We've got a special offer for $10 off. Key deal, looks like. Photo scanning service with 100 years um, guaranteed safe online storage. Oh, that's that's handy. Photo scanning service. Okay. And then we have to get started. Charge our recipe tablet. Plug in the power cable to the tablet's power port. Insert the power supply. Turn the tablet. Hold the power for 15 seconds. Connect to Wi-Fi and follow the instructions. Oh wow, a handy 800 number too. That's nice. Okay, now here we are at the tablet. All I can see right here is the little yellow tab. Let's see, that's nicely packed. Very, looks like very secure. Let's take that out. Oh, yes, okay. Let's look at this yellow tab. Points to, that must be the power switch there. Okay, set it down. We need to follow the instructions here. Okay, there's the power supply and a little handy manual. Let's take this power supply and plug it in. Okay, and plug it into our handy tablet here. Okay, looks so like on the ports are on the top. So this little dude here looks like it goes in that smaller hole there. That's the headphone jack, USB, and this looks like the power jack. Let's go ahead and put the power jack in. There we go. So I've got the power in there now. Let's take a look at the back here. Oh yeah, this looks like the kickstand. So let's go ahead and pull that guy out. All right, nice, nice fit there. And we can set it up. Very good. All right, let's turn it on. Hold it down for 15 seconds. Okay, looks like it's coming on now. Very nice. Give it a few seconds here. Looks like it's booting up. Android. It's very nice there. Sitting in profile. <laughs> okay, that's well, turned on now. Oh, very nice. Easy to use in one, two, three. Click the thing to open. Browse for uh, inspiration from newest recipes or preload cookbooks. Please sign up or sign in for full features. Let's go ahead and click that. Okay, looks like it's loading. Key ingredient. All right, it's loaded up and looks like we've got uh, loads this on our cookbooks. So we can try beef and pork. Let's see. Oh, very nice. Ooh, that looks yummy. Let's have a look at this glazed pork roast. Go ahead. There we go. Glazed pork roast. And simple dish, which is great eaten with hot steamed rice. Okay. There's the directions. And there is our click to listen. Touch that dude. Go ahead and listen. Vegetable oil and stir-fry ingredients, beetle aromatic before adding an ingredient, eh? Okay. After string it for a good five minutes, I added enough water to cover the beef dust above its surface and closed the lid of the wok and let the fire do its part. Looks good. Let's pause that step. 
So we've got the ingredients and we've got the directions and it seems to be reading the directions out loud. The one thing is it seemed a little soft in volume, so let's see if we can't go to settings. Sound. in here. Oh, well, we forgot to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi. Let's do that. Settings. Wi-Fi is on. Connect to our Wi-Fi. Alright. Typed in the Wi-Fi password. And now it's obtaining the IP address, connected, good, all right, let's look at any manual volume controls, let's see if we can get online, there's a browser, looks like a browser is loading, let's just try Google. Very nice, Google loaded well. Okay, let's now go back to key ingredient. And let's go home. Key ingredient. See if we can't search for pizza. I love pizza. Searching for pizza. Okay, let's just try going home. All right, here we are. We've got all kinds of recipes. Uh, let's now try a search. Pizza, press search by title. There we go. We got pizza dough, pizza burgers, pizza peppers, stuffed pets pears, slow cooker pizza, low carb pizza, that's for me. Let's take a look at that. Eggplant. Oh, that looks yummy. That looks very yummy. Very nice. Well, let's see. All right, let's listen to these instructions. One, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Cut the ends off of the eggplants and then slice in half lengthwise. Let's try skipping ahead. all but one half inch of the eggplant meat from the eggplant tops, leaving empty shells, and then dice and reserve the scoop to plant. Oh, that's just pause and play, okay. Place the empty eggplant and shells in a 13 times 9 baking dish. Yeah, that's pretty easy. Let's go back. 
replace the empty eggplant. Go back. There we go. Scoop all but one half inch of the eggplant meat from the eggplant hubs, leaving. Very nice. Okay. Looks like we got a few other features here. Let's try to add a recipe. Oh, it needs it. You have to have an account to add a recipe. That's no problem. Let's make a new account. Alright. Wants me to check the re verification email. We'll skip that for now. Oh, we gotta get the verification email before we can add things. That's no problem. Alrighty. I think that's all we have to show today for the unboxing and mini review. Looks like a very nice, simple to use recipe tablet. Lots of recipes to be seen. It's got some cookbooks so you can organize all your recipes and desserts. Cupcakes. Very nice. Has a triple upside down cake. Excellent. That looks delightful. And it does in fact read to you. And it has search and cookbooks and add recipes, although we'll have, to, we'll have to confirm our account. And lots of other recipes. Looks like an endless scroll of recipes. Very nice. Let's try one more thing. Let's see how the music is. There is music. Cool. Comes with some good music built in. Let's go ahead and play a song here. Very nice. Good. It seems to be working fine. Okay, let's stop that. Okay, there we go. So there you have it. 2014 key ingredient recipe tablet mini preview and open boxing and preview